What does it say? Oseg be mitzvah, patar min mitzvah. When you're doing the mitzvah, you got to put yourself completely in there. Everything, every bit of us has to go into that mitzvah. When I'm learning, I don't hear anything else in the world. I don't hear the telephone, the cell phone, I don't hear nothing. Nothing in the world. There could be a sonic boom and I won't hear it. Why? Because I'm in learning. The great Rebbe Yashuv, Zecher Tzadik Livracha, Posek Ador, an interesting thing happened. They came and they said they want him to lay the cornerstone of the yeshiva. They're making a new yeshiva. What is a bigger simcha than that? And they wanted he should help with the laying of the cornerstone, Evan Pina. So, of course, Rabbi Yashuv, <laughs> he's learning 23 hours a day. He's not taking time off to go to the cornerstone with the cement and the whole thing. So they said, you know what? We understand. The Rosh Yeshiva and the Menayal and everyone will come to him, to his room, and we will bring the Evan Pina. We'll bring it. And just if the Gaon can put a little cement on the top, we'll bring a little shovel. It'll take him a half a second. Rabbi Yoshev said, let them come. Good. They came. They brought the cement, the stone. They did it. Rabbi Yashuv put some cement on it. And then afterwards, he wished them a big mazal tov, gave them a bracha, sat right down on the table and began to learn. Completely, completely took out the Gemara and learned. The Menahel said, could we make like a little dance for a moment? Like, could we sing and dance just we have everybody here just for a minute? So they asked his son. His son said, yes. So he says, but won't it disturb the great Rav? He said, no. He's not here anymore. He's not here. He's in his learning. He doesn't hear a word that's going on. So Bishlemut means... That when a person is in tefillah, they don't have the telephone go off. They don't have other things now, other distractions. That a person, when they're involved in the chinuch of their children, they're given over completely to their child. They don't know anything that is happening in that moment. There was a little child, and I happened to see her in Lakewood, New Jersey. And the mommy was sitting teaching chumash, beginner's chumash. To the, to the daughter. You know what I heard the daughter say to the mother? Mommy, could you shut your cell off? Sometimes it's the children that are going to teach. So that means Mishlemut. I have to do Teshuvah if I did not do the mitzvah completely. It was a little bit missing. So now I want to give it my all and I want to do Teshuvah. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.